cold outreach, doing cold calls, cold emails, cold DMs. This is a great way of doing it. So the website is called Yellow Pages, right? So you'll go to Yellow Pages, you'll do any city, whatever city, if you work and you're okay with doing business out of state or in different cities or different countries, it all works here on Yellow Pages and then you'll literally just search up a niche. So Yellow Pages is actually a website people use when they're trying to find services near them. You can use it uh, as an agency trying to find businesses who you can contact. These top ones, these companies are paying to be sponsored on Yellow Pages so they're probably gonna get blown up. If you're just Googling companies near you, those companies are, are ranked very high on Google or you wouldn't have found them. So either scroll down to people that are less established on Google because the people that are top on Google, I mean, there's literally no harm in getting a no and getting shut down, but those people are just getting blown up all day because they got a ton of people reaching out to them, offering Facebook ads or marketing or advertising, whatever it may be, whatever you do. So either scroll down on Google when you're looking for people to call or visit this page, this website called Yellow Pages. So what you'll do, and this is what I do, type in my niche, whoever I'm working with, and then I'll go down to a business, I'll click on the business, and it's kind of hit or miss. So it'll provide you with as much information as it can. A lot of the times you'll just get a company name and a phone number. This is what my spreadsheet looks like. So the information I put in here is the company, the decision maker, their position, the phone number. Yellow Pages will give you the phone number of the business. If I do get in contact with, with someone that is potentially interested in my service, I will ask for their personal number or their cell where I can contact them directly and I'll uh, put both. And then their email, uh, sometimes Yellow Pages will provide you with a business email. I mean, might as well shoot an email off. I mean, it can't hurt. Uh, their website, a lot of the time, so this is not the best lead or example on Yellow Pages, but there will be a website here. In the website, you can kind of do a little digging in, in in relation to whatever services you're providing. So for me, I'll be doing Facebook advertising for businesses. So I can go into their website, scroll down, go to their socials, go to their Facebook, see if they're running ads or not, depending on if you're doing SEO or, or direct mail marketing, what, whatever you're doing, whatever service you're offering, you can kind of deep dive on their website and see exactly what they're currently doing. If, if it's just a business website and, and I can't find their socials, I'll put the business website in website. If I go to their website and I find a Facebook, I'll go, I'll link their Facebook in here because that's more important than their website, at least for the services I'm offering. And then I'll put if they're running Facebook ads or not. If I can't find out that information, obviously I'll just put, I don't know, their objection or their reason or, or what our last conversation is, was about. I just put objection because if it's not a closed deal, then whatever the reason they're giving me is just preventing them from moving forward. So I treat it as an objection or a complaint or whatever you want to call it. And then if I have people that are somewhat interested and say, hey, just give me a call back, I'll put the call back date here. I color code it so red is like, hey, don't call, not interested, don't want it. Orange is, yeah, they've got some level of interest. They want some more information and they want me to give them a call back. Yellow is I just couldn't reach them. And then green are people that are super interested, interested in moving forward. So I will take information from Yellow Pages and I will put it over to my pipeline and then I'll sit here and I'll just call all these numbers, do my cold call script, try and convert a couple of these leads into customers. And that's what I'll do. But there's a way to simplify it. So there's a ton of softwares out there that simplify this whole process. One that I really like and there's no affiliate link or I don't get a kickback or there's nothing in the description. Just go check it out for yourself. I uh, there's, there's a ton of different ones out there. So, so do a little bit more research on YouTube. But Lead Carrot is one that literally just simplifies the process. You're not having to copy and paste their phone number, their business, their website, their socials, do a deep dive. It does it all for you. So on this example here, you'll get the business name, their email, their phone number, their website, uh, their directions, their ratings, their their socials, all of their socials, whatever, whatever they have, and, and then you'll get the city. And then you can sit here and you can just click call. Go ahead and check it out. That's what I do to get in, in contact with business owners. I had one guy uh, reach out to me and said, hey man, how are you getting direct their direct phone numbers? Because I just keep getting a business number and I have to get past the gatekeeper. Getting past the gatekeeper is so easy, guys. You are you're making it harder than it should be. I will probably make a video in the future on gatekeeper handling. But look, if your service, if you've worked with other people in the past, other businesses, and you've generated them great results, you've made them money, you've done good for them, and you can do the same thing with this company because they're in a similar niche or they're in a competing space, then there's no reason for you to lack confidence in what you're saying. You should be like, hey, look, I... The gatekeeper saying, what is this about? I'm looking to get in touch. This is about getting you guys about 10 or so additional appointments later on this month or so. When does the owner have time to take my call? This is super important. So, it, it, you know, you kind of have to 
build a little fake it till you make it. So if you don't have a customer yet, if you don't have a client yet, if, you don't, if you're not working with anyone yet, if you're not doing the Facebook advertising yet, realize uh, your offer matters a lot more um, than you think it does. It always matters more than you think it does. So your offer needs to change. If you're lacking confidence, you need a better offer. An offer that it makes the, the business owner hard to say no. I'm, I'm willing to do the entire first month for free. If, you, if you're confident enough in yourself to generate results, you'll do the first month for free. Or you can say, I'll do the entire first month free of charge. All you cover is ad spend. So you're not out of money from your wallet, but also it, it's so much easier to generate results when they're not getting charged a service fee or percentage of the appointments you generate or the sales that you convert. So, but don't be afraid of gatekeepers. Look, if you go on, what is it, LinkedIn and find out who exactly is the president and their personal phone number, reach out to them directly. Don't go through a gatekeeper. I'm not saying a gatekeeper is great, but it's a lot easier to handle than you guys might think. So this is the way I do it. I go on Yellow Pages. I put everything into a pipeline. There's services out there. Lead Gorilla, Lead Carrot that, that make everything easy for you. So if you're allocating a lot of your time to cold outreach, especially cold call and cold email, maybe even cold DM, a service like this, is gonna generate uh, probably a higher re return on your time investment than it would be doing this because it takes a long time inputting all of these uh, details into a spreadsheet. Like the video, dislike the video, comment on the video. I'm gonna do a couple more videos uh, as far as gatekeeper handling. And then I have a really exciting video coming up on service delivery. There's a little website uh, that, that you can get really great examples of Facebook ads from. So stick around for those, make sure to subscribe. You know the whole deal. So 